Hi VC, this is Bev at Clarko Vision um, and um, this is just a quick, it's going to be an update video on a few things I've acquired and the opening of a package. This was in the mail when I got home today, VCLT. Um, there's no th clues as to where it's come from except it's the UK. Um, Judging by the writing, um, it could be somebody, it, um, it might be, I have someone in mind, but I could be wrong, so. And um, so I thought, well, I'll do this, um, it's a CD, I'm pretty sure it's a CD, um, so I thought I shall open this and I'll combine it with my wee update and the two, um, and that gets them out of the way. So, um, without further ado, let's get opening this Nice little jiffy. Uh, let's well stop down. And there's a what on earth? Oh, 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 I like that. Now that's cool. A trooper beer mat. Definitely cool. Charged with flavour. IronMaidenBeer.com. Okay, so I'm loving that. Yes. Cheshire, England. Um, my dad, I'm not really into beer myself really, but my dad's had one of these um, the original troopers and he says it's very nice. He says it's quite decent. So um, I guess that's Good because my dad kends his beer, I suppose, like most guys do. <laughs> um, so there's a note here. It doesn't say anything about spoilers. You just check. Hello, babe. Just something to give you a. Ah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Very cool. Ah, okay. Interesting stuff. Yeah, because I have to confess, I've never actually owned anything by this well-known band, I guess you could say. Dio, Ronnie James Dio's band that he set up back in the day. Now this one, it's it's from Metal Mickey, and uh, I was mentioning to him recently that I didn't actually have any deal. Um, now I know there's several people who have um, who highly rate deal, um, not just in the VC, but I've got other friends that kind of you know are highly. Um, into deal uh, stuff so and I don't really know why I've never just back in the day it's another one of these bands I knew were around um, I was aware of them but they, they never I just never took any interest at the time um, and then later on I was aware um, when Vivian Campbell joined Def Leppard uh, that's when I started learning he used to be in deal um, and people used to say how great he was in Dio, etc. Blah blah blah. Um, but because Vivian Campbell went into Def Leppard, for me at the time it was like he was kind of replacing my hero. So I wasn't feeling overly warm towards the guy as such. Um, not that I really <clears throat> had anything against them or Def Leppard. They kind of just had to do what they had to do, and he got the opportunity, but. It, it didn't do anything to make me more curious to find out which you know and on, for another person it might have but um so but i guess now is the time to check them out anyway um so metal mickey says just something to give you a taster of deal he reckons it's not the best deal album but he, he says it's a spare one he had so um he wanted to give it to me to, to give me a shot and that's fine because you know I'm, I'm more than happy interesting cover actually look up the wheels so I don't even know what year this says 1990 so 
But yeah, I'm eager to check this out and just see what what um what uh, delights await. So yeah, Dio Robertson, Bain Robertson, Cook Johansson. I guess that's all the sort of names and all for the writing and stuff. So yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very much, Metal Mickey. I will indeed check this out. Um, and that's pretty cool. That will just go nicely beside my maiden stuff. So that was really decent of you just to send that up. Uh, and I will let you know. Um, now, <coughs> I've got a couple of records and a couple of CDs, shall we say. Now, for those of you who um, are friends on Facebook with me, you would have seen that I landed a holy grail in Running Wild's Port Royal. This is an original pressing from 1988. Um, however, sadly, it was twisted and crooked and damaged in the post. Um, you, can, you can't notice it too well now. Um, it's still the, the top corner got bent here. Um, it just wasn't packaged very well. It was not packaged well at all. And as a result, the the whole kind of thing was not straight. You can sort of see that it's not straight there, basically. Um, so it was kind of horrified when I, I saw it and I saw how it was packaged and I feared the worst. And um, I mean, the inner sleeve's about the best part of it, actually. The inner sleeve's really nice. So I got the record out, I put it on the turntable and yeah, it was warped. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on here, but there is a warp. Um, and it goes up and down, you know, um, the stylus looks like it's floating on the crest of a wave when it's um, going. It does play, but and the guy said it was in excellent condition. It, it's. I wouldn't say it was excellent. There's quite a few surface marks, but um, anyway, on the whole, I was hugely disappointed because um, I was expecting it to not be in this condition. Um, yeah, you can totally see it's warped. It's just so not right. Um, it looks ridiculous <laughs> from that angle. But, um, you know, with it being run and wild in um, original place uh, and to be described as excellent, etc., I wasn't happy. So um, I got in touch with the guy, I explained everything. I said, you know, it's warped. Uh, doesn't and it was very good. He actually says, Well, there's you know, it's no use to me or you. So he says, There's no point in sending it back. He says, But I'll just refund you. So he refunded me without any problems, which was fantastic. Um, it just means I'll probably just uh, keep this and in, in the, frame the thing as a, you know, in one of these vinyl frame things at some point actually. Um, so I'm still seeking an original. Um, so that was that. Um, but now on to the stuff I've collected, which. Um, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save the other CDs till the end this time. Aka, ah, metal man. He gets his vinyl out the road first. So here's another one I just got recently, and I'm um, really delighted to get this because I got Cauldron's latest recently, uh, New Gods, and I really enjoyed that. And um, <coughs> I had sampled one or two of this album and another album, and Darcy happened to comment in one of my videos that um, he reckoned I would like this one as well. So I went for it. I uh, I couldn't see it on. It wasn't readily available on Amazon, etc. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was specifically a limited, but um, I think this might be a limited edition. Um, so I got it from a seller in Germany who was actually selling it at a decent, normal kind of price for new records because it, it was brand new. It was still in the shrink, and um, it's just my phone, sorry. So yes, so this is Cauldron in Ruin, Canadian Trio. Um, this is uh, 2016 and it's on High Roller Records. Now I've, I've had High Roller before and they do a really nice job of, of their uh, stuff. 
stuff. The cover is the kind of glossy finish. It's the shiny glossy. It's a stiff cover. You get a, a lyric sheet which is on quite a, a fairly stiff bit of card as well. And on this side you get a collage of the band photos. Um, again you get a list of everything on High Roller Records that's been released here. Um, loads and loads of bands. Um, you also get a nice let me just see what you get a nice um, poster um, of the album cover. There we are, and the, the three band members as well. So you get that. And the. It came in a plain sort of inner, but it was polylined, which is fantastic. I do like a polylined sleeve, I have to say. It. And it's. Um, it's on lovely blue vinyl. It's on kind of it's. I think it's the kind of see-through vinyl, the sort of uh, transparent or translucent or whatever. Um, although you can't see that too well, but it's a it's a nice sort of royal blue, if you like. <clears throat> Hundred and eighty gram, and I have to say, I love this album too. I'm undecided as to what one I prefer at the moment. I can't make up my mind if I have a favourite out of the two but I just love them both so, so that was uh, that and the other record I got um, now this arrived on Tuesday um, I ordered it through Frontier's own website um, and this is not scheduled to be released until the 22nd of March which is tomorrow um, but it arrived on Tuesday um, so I was quite surprised at how quick, but you know, um, I guess he just shipped them out as soon as they arrived at their end. And it's Harem Scarum, and it's a reissue of their album Weight of the World. Um, the only thing is, I can't remember what year this came out, to be honest with you, but I think it would be in the 90s at some point. I'm sure this is a, a 90s. So obviously if, you get an, if there's an original of this on vinyl, it'll probably be a fortune. Um, but um, I was listening, sampling some of their music and off this album, Weight of the World, I quite liked uh, a couple of the songs, so I decided to just um, treat myself. And it comes in a gatefold sleeve. Um, it's on Frontiers Records. Now, it, I've looked all over, it doesn't have an original year, like it's just got two, 2019 down here. Um, that is the tra uh, the track listing, um, and it is in a gatefold. <coughs> there we have it. Uh, you've got the lyrics on this side, and the band and details on that side. Thank yous, etc. I believe these guys are Canadian as well, actually. <coughs> um, and it just comes. It just came in a plain white inner. Um, and this one's on a, a green vinyl. It's kind of like a, a marble sort of green marble. Is there this kind of uh, other kind of bits through it or splatter? It's more like a marble and a splatter, I think. Um, so yeah, 180 gram. And that is Harem Skirum and Weight of the World. Um, so I quite like hearing this album in particular, I, I quite enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm new to hearing and scare as well, actually. Um, I picked up two CDs in a charity shop recently. What I find about them is I think they've kind of gone, certainly in the vocal department, they've kind of gone for the big, the big vocal sound. Um, kind of what Def Leppard were doing um, after Hysteria and on into Adrenalize and uh, Euphoria and stuff and I guess how they still do it but um, there seemed to me a lot of uh, big layered vocal sound <coughs> coming off and I don't know if that's the kind of thing they were trying to go for um, and it's it's okay, but that's just kind of what it reminded me of the, the kind of the Def Leppard vocal sound in a way, um, how it's how it comes over. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they're they're another good melodic hard rock. So um, check them out if you haven't. 
So that's the records and on to the CDs. Um, I have been on a wee lucky streak regarding this set I'm doing. Um, you'll possibly have, have seen uh, me pick up High and Dry and On Through the Night. Well, here is Pyromania. It's a Japanese pressing from 1988. They reissued the four albums and this is album number three on the OVI. Um, picture CD. <coughs> which is really cool and again this is in lovely condition I'm not going to open this one up um, you've got the 10 tracks that you can, you'll never you'll never read it off of that um, <coughs> and you get the, the, the booklet cover and you also get an inner lyric sheet so it opens out and you get the lyrics in English and you get um, I think you get the, either the lyrics in Japanese or you get a bit of a write-up in Japanese um, and so all I just need to get Hysteria now to complete this set of these uh, four from Japan. So I'm really chuffed about that. This one came in from the United States actually um, at a decent price. So and I picked up this as well. This is Def Leppard in the 80s. And it is Def Leppard in the 80s and obviously that picture is as well. It's an old picture, there's Pete Willis. Um, and it's not music though, this is an interview. Um, and it's an interview with Steve Clark actually, which basically says it oh, all. That's an essential piece for me. Um, it's an interview with Steve, um, I, I think it's around 1988 um, from the content that he's speaking about. but. What's a little bit disappointing about it is the way it's been put onto the disc. Um, you get Steve answering all the questions, but you you only hear the interviewer a couple of times. Um, so it's basically, you'll hear the interviewer maybe ask a, a question or two or comment on something Steve said, but for the most part, Steve is answering loads of questions and you're not actually getting to know what question is being asked, which in places makes it a little bit tricky to follow or to understand what he's talking about um, and specifically, but um, for the most part, I can kind of get what he's saying sort of thing. Um, that's the only disappointing thing they could have put, it would have been better if they did put the, the questions on it the interviewer asking the questions as well as Steve giving his answers but because it's Steve um, and then you know there's, uh, Steve's interviews are quite rare to get a hold of especially in audio format so um, this I had to get just to put in the collection but I don't know it's MVD audio who uh, issued this I have no idea but I think it's come from the United States this particular disc um, so, just a good addition. Now, um, another gem to add to my Judas Priest collection. I picked up another one on Amazon. So it was <laughs> priced at £5 and I went for um, Stained Class this time. And I have to tell you, the track, there is a Beyond the Realms of Death. What a song. What a track. I love that. That is fantastic. Totally marvellous song. I'm loving that. I really quite enjoy this whole album. I've never... Not one of the more familiar ones of The Priest, um, <clears throat> but this is from 1978 originally. Um, but I really enjoy the whole thing. I think it's, it's one of my... I would say it's one of my most liked out of my Priest stuff so far. So I was delighted with that and beyond the realms of death love it and um, so yeah this is the remasters um, collection obviously and um, two bonus tracks which are fire burns below i like that as well and better by you better than me live and last but by no means least um i decided to treat myself to some pretty maids um, Pretty Maids, Kingmaker. Now this is their latest album. This is the last album they have put out, which is from 2016, and it's on Frontiers. Um, and I have listened to this on YouTube, and I have to say 
it is great. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, thoroughly enjoy. Um, so another solid piece of hard rock heavy metal from uh, the Danish Pretty Maids. Um, I, I highly recommend this as well to check out. So, and it comes on a nice picture CD. And sorry about the glare there. But. So that's my latest update. And the VCLT, honestly, Mike, that was really cool. Um, I much, much appreciated um, because I've been thumbing and horn for a long time about Dio. Will I or won't I? Am I going to like them? Am I not? I know there's classics like Holy Diver and um, one or two others. <laughs> I know them, but I can't remember them. So, yeah. <clears throat> I will definitely get checking into that. So um, I hope you guys are all well and I'll catch you soon in another video. So bye for now.